Hi guys, it's Clayton from the Wenatchee Valley Museum and I'm back again with another instructional video. Today we'll be making a marionette puppet. Pretty cool. So really quick, uh, just like always, I'm going to go over all the uh, materials you need. So you need construction paper, you can choose any color, it doesn't matter. You need some string, um, hot glue gun with extra hot glue, scissors, or just something to cut with. You're going to need some buttons, like so, for his feet. And you're going to need a toilet paper or paper towel roll. Alright, and the first step we're going to get started with is... You're going to take your paper towel roll and you're going to cut two pieces. One for the body and one for the head. I've already done this for the sake of the video. So you guys can see, here's my body and here's my head. And also, your next step is to go ahead and decorate. And what I chose to do is cut out pieces of construction paper into like little dots to decorate my dog. And I've already done that as you can see. And then here I've started as well, I put an eyeball on. And really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue down the eyeball. Now you guys do not have to decorate your dog like I have. You can paint them, you can use uh, colored or just plain pencils to decorate however you'd like. Okay, so key things to note, I have both eyeballs glued onto the head and I've made a nose. I have all my decorations on. So what you're gonna wanna do is with these, I turn this one upside down. The body you're gonna turn upside down. You're gonna want four holes on the bottom side. That way you can put some string through to create both of the legs. And then here you're gonna want on the center lines, you're gonna want two holes. I'm gonna go ahead and make the second one. You guys can see. I made one hole right here already. And the other I'm gonna go ahead and Pretty easy. Just make sure it's big enough to get the string through. Done. And with your head now, you're going to want to make a hole out in the center of his noggin, right between his eyes, pretty much. And you're going to want to do that between his eyes and on the back side. And when you're doing this, you're going to want them to be pretty close to aligned or matching up. That way, when you put your string through, it's not bending one way or the other. But it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try your best. Mm, looks pretty good. Okay. So now we have the body pieces made. So we have our head with our two holes in there, both eyes, the nose. And you guys can add more. You can add the tongue, and I'll be adding a little bit more. Here we have all my decorations put on. You have the two holes you need on the top. And on the bottom, you have all four holes you need. Now, last step with, for me decorating, I'm going to put ears on my head. Now, like I said before, I got ahead of myself. You can add a tongue or even I've seen people add a tail. Whatever you guys like to do, free reign. So, same as the eyeballs, I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue down on this and press it down. Okay. So, now we are done with our body pieces. We have our body with all the correct holes and decorations that I want or that you want. And we have the head done with the eyes, nose, and ears. And then you guys can add whatever you want. Okay, guys, so now that we have both of our body pieces, our body and head, we're going to set that aside. Now, really quick, we just need to make like our little control. You can see that's how it goes up and down and we can make it wiggle and dance. All I did with that is I used a skewer stick for the purpose of this video. I already cut in two pieces, make sure they're as even as possible and you glue them down. And there's not much to this, just glue them down. And if you have your parents or your friend helping you, it does help it. With your hot glue gun, you apply glue, you hold it and the other person holds it or you can do that yourself. Okay guys, now we're on to going back with our body piece and we're gonna thread the string through it to create the legs. Now, once again for the video, I've already done this, but two pieces about four to six inches will do for this, just like so. All you're gonna do is to create the legs, what you're gonna start by doing is threading it through both the bo sorry, bottom holes that are opposite of each other. Okay 
Okay guys, so now I have both my pieces of string strung through. And really quick, I'm gonna turn it so you guys can see it. We're gonna make sure they're pretty even. That one looks pretty good to me. Because you want both eggs, sorry, legs to be even. Looks pretty good to me. All right, so now we're gonna add the legs or the feet of the pond. And on this one, you guys can see, I used larger like, wood pieces for the feet. And on this one, I have more traditional uh, actual buttons. Now, my advice is you can tie it down or you can hot glue it. And I found with these ones, it was easier to hot glue. And with these ones, I'll try to tie them, but if I can't, I'm gonna hot glue it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. Okay guys, really quick, just an update. As you can see, I've got the first foot on. And what I'm gonna do really quick is, as you can see, maybe you guys can't see, but I tied a knot to keep it in place. I'm gonna apply more hot glue just to make sure it's extra secure. Because the last thing I wanna do is be putting all the other ones on and it comes undone. So guys, my legs are all done, so I'm ready for the next step. Okay guys, so now it's time to make our big long string that attaches to our little skewer part that I talked about before. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna cut off like a two foot long piece of string, a pretty long piece of string. What we're gonna start is, is if you guys remember, you made two holes up here on the top of your dog. What you're gonna do is you're gonna thread pieces of string up through those holes, just like you did for the legs. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay guys, I have my string thread through. As you can see, the same thing with the legs. I tried to make both pieces as even as possible. Now it's time for you guys to decide which side of your body is gonna have your head, or which side is it going to be on. I'm just gonna go with this side. So I'm just deciding on my left, but you guys is right. And while you're doing that, in order for the head, because what we're gonna do is put this piece of string up through the head piece, we don't want it to slide all the way down and rest on our body, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a knot about an inch out from the body. So go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so now that your knot's tied, what you're gonna to wanna to do is thread your piece of string through your head. All right guys, so at this point, we should have all of our pieces put together. It should look like this. Your head should be on, your body should be on, and your legs should be on. So now it's time to wrap your string around your skewer piece to control it. And that's very simple we've done. All you're gonna do is wrap the string around one of the sides like this and apply hot glue down to it. So go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so you should have your string securely in place on your skewer piece. And that should mark the end of the creation of your little puppet. And once again, remember guys, your puppet does not have to look like mine. I would advise if you guys want to adding a tongue, a tail, you guys can make your ears look different. You can add different things for the feet and you can even paint this a bunch of random colors. Either way, as long as it works like mine does, that's the point. So I hope you guys had fun. I hope all this made sense and hope to see you guys again. Bye guys.